Are you serious? Are you serious? It looks like uh, it's getting very serious. We have information right now coming in. Uh, of course, yesterday, Nikki Haley, the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, had stern words for North Korea. According to the headlines at the Crusader Journal, the U.S. envoy says North Korea's leader is begging for war as the United Nations uh, organization, of course, begins to consider new sanctions. Matter of fact, according to reports, the United States today are saying that the countries trading with North Korea were aiding its dangerous nuclear intentions as the United Nations Security Council continues to review new tough sanctions and to isolate the regime and showed signs of planning more missile tests. Now, South Korea said it was talking to Washington about deploying aircraft carriers and strategic bombers to the Korean Peninsula following North Korea's sixth and most powerful nuclear test on Sunday. At a Security Council meeting, the U.S. Ambassador Nikki Haley said North Korea's Kim Jong-un was begging for war. What? And urged that the 15-member group adopt the strongest possible measures to deter him. War is never something the United States wants. We don't want it now, but our country's patience is not unlimited. We will defend our allies and our territory, Haley said. And the United States will look at every country that does business with North Korea as a country that is giving aid to their reckless and dangerous nuclear intentions, she said. Also, UN Ambassador Nikki Haley said the United States will circulate a new Security Council resolution on North Korea this week and wants a vote on it by next Monday. Matter of fact, China, a top trading partner with North Korea and Russia, called for peaceful resolutions to the crisis. China will never allow chaos and war on the Korean Peninsula, said uh, the Chinese ambassador to the United Nations. And a comprehensive settlement, Russia said peace in the region now is in jeopardy. And that, quote, a comprehensive settlement to nuclear and other issues plaguing the Korean Peninsula can be arrived at solely through political and diplomatic channels, according to Russia's U ambassador, Vasily Nesbiza. But North Korea has been under U.N. sanctions, folks, since 2006 over its ballistic missile and nuclear programs. And typically, China and Russia only view a test of a long-range missile or a nuclear weapon as a trigger for further possible U.N. sanctions. So U.S. President Donald J. Trump uh, has asked to be briefed on all available military options, according to his defense chief. And officials said that activity around missile launch sites suggests North Korea is planning more missile tests. There's no doubt about it, folks. Uh, we're going to continue to watch this closely. Now, we do have some inside information <clears throat> that says a couple different people. One of the guys from one of the alphabet agencies of the government met with L.A. Marzulli at the Hear the Watchman conference in Dallas, Texas. This was in late March. And he told Marzulli, and Marzulli's went on the record to tell this. He told Marzulli that there will be war, and that next war will be with North Korea. Now, uh, another gentleman called me from Texas and he had some information from a sources that are very reliable. So word on the street is this, there will be, or if, if there's going to be war, not that there will be, but if there is going to be war, it will be after the Winter Olympics, which are scheduled in Seoul, South Korea in February of 2018. So we're in the ramping up period. We're in the diplomatic, exhausting all diplomatic efforts Kim Jong-un is you know, ignoring all options. He's going forward with testing his hydrogen bombs and missiles. So it's as if both sides know 
it is inevitable. Let's pray to God it doesn't happen, though, just because the, the alphabet guy from one of the major uh, agencies of the government, he is, I think he's meaning this. If there's going to be a war, it will be with North Korea. Let's hope that's what he meant. But one thing's for sure, we're living in dangerous times. We are in the last days. If you're not right with God, I want you to consider that North Korea has 800,000 artillery shells, rockets and missiles that they can start firing at Seoul, South Korea right now within four minutes. And because of that leverage over Seoul, South Korea's head, any talk of the United States just going in and eliminating this problem is not that simple. There would be thousands, hundreds of thousands of people killed on both sides in the Korean Peninsula. And then Japan is also concerned, and China and Russia. So there's a lot on the table here. And we've got 28,000 uh, men and women in uniform in Seoul, South Korea, in, in our military base there. Now, this is a whole lot more complicated. And then there's millions of civilians. So it is getting ugly. It is getting dangerous. World War III, my question is, is Armageddon coming to South Asia? We'll be back with more. Give your life to Jesus Christ. These are the last days.